we are entering into another session in the chapter sources of business finance and that is about trade credit trade credit is also a kind of borrowing is a kind of lending which is been provided by the seller of the product will for further understanding we will enter into the topic what is meant by trade credit trade credit is the credit extended to one trader by another on purchase of goods and services when a when a person is purchasing goods or services from a seller seller is permitting him to purchase it on credit that means payment is required to be made at a further date it facilitate a purchase of supplies without immediate payment payment has not uh, needn't be made immediately it can be paid at a later date that credit which is extended by a seller to buyer of the product is called trade credit and it's a source of short term financing because that fund which is actually to be paid can be used for something else so it is in that way it is becoming a source of funds and it is granted to customers it will not be granted to everyone it will be granted by the seller to a customer to a buyer of whose trade uh, sorry uh, of whose credit worthiness whose financial standing is reasonable and which is known to the seller if the seller knows a particular customer has sound financial standing and his credit worthiness he has the capacity to make payment even if an exemption is given for immediate payment if he seller is sure that he will make a payment only to that kind of customers customers having credit worthiness and sound financial standing is provided trade credit and the terms can vary from firm to firm company to company and individual to individual because it depends on each firm's capacity trade credit can be allowed the time period of trade credit all those things will be taken into consideration so for simple understanding trade credit is a method whereby a buyer is allowed to purchase supplies without making immediate payment now what are the merits when buyer is allowed to purchase things on credit what is the benefit what are, what are the benefits as a source of fund what benefit this is having first one is that it is a convenient and continuous source of fund it is a convenient source because we need not have to, we need not make immediate payment payment can be made at a later date maybe we may when we are getting some profit when we are having money it need to be paid so it is a convenient source it is a continuous source and it is available to a customer whose credit worthiness whose capacity of payment the capacity of his financial standing is known to the seller it is allowed it is allowed readily allowed available to customer who is credit worthy who has the capacity who has sound financial standing they are provided this facility that will be available third one it is needed to promote the sales of organization every time if we are insisting payment must be made then only you can have the product goods or services if we are insisting on that there is a chance that a persons small scale customer small scale uh, business operators who may not have immediate money but they are sure that they will get they may not come for purchase so in order to increase the sales of the organization in order to make sure that organization is purchasing goods and maybe at a later date they will make payment then we can ensure that sales will happen so for increasing sales of an organization this method of trade credit the source of trade credit is a requirement and fourth one is that when 
a firm is expecting an increase in sales and the duty of firm to make sure that enough supply is there for that goods are required. So, but immediately they may not be in a capacity to pay for it. So, in such kind of cases to meet the expected rise in the, in the organization, in the market, they have to maintain more inventory to meet the expected rise. In such, in such cases, trade credit, can, trade credit can be of help. That is why inventory level can be increased to meet expected rise in sales volume. That too with the not immediate payment, later data payment is okay. They can maintain more of stock. And the last one is that they does not or the source of fund does not create any charge on assets. No charge on assets is made of the buyer. No assets is being charged for giving such a facility. So that way also it is benefitable. Of course, it have limitations. When we are getting things on fr not free of cost at a future payment facility when we are getting uh, a facility to pay in future there is a chance that we purchase more than what is required and we may indulge in over trading more than what is required we may keep it uh, thinking that uh, payment need to be made at a future date only but if it is not being sold out there is a chance that uh, there can be risk there can be chance of loss so risk factor increases when firms are over trading using the facility of trade credit that is a chance that is a shortcoming second one is that we cannot raise a large amount of funds through trade credit nominal amounts or limited amounts can only be only be extended as a source extended using the source of trade credit and the last one is it is costly source of fund when compared with other sources. It is a costly source because we have to make a payment, we have to go, we, can, we have to ensure that uh, that future date is maintained and we may have to adjust many places. So, in that way when we are comparing, this is a costly source of fund, in the, that is also a shortcoming, that is also a shortcoming. So, we have seen what is the meaning of trade credit, what is the meaning of trade credit, what are the merits and what are the limitations. So, that is all about trade credit as a source of fund.